road. This should be interesting to say the least. Yeah. No, that's okay. It's been crossed a, a few times since yeah, I, went, I went live at five, um, thinking that this is starting. You went at five. live? Yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. Well, the event said start at five, so I guess. It said five. Oh, yeah, I said five thirty. Well, the event page oh. said five, so. Oh wow! Cool. Well, we're and right there then. There's one tomorrow. Oh, there's one tomorrow. Yeah. Nice. I better find a seat. And there's spots up here. Your mic's not on. Thank you. 
Um, in Des Moines, we had a group of advocates that have stepped up and really pushed to get a DRC pilot program. Uh, earlier this summer, the city council uh, did not request the federal grant, uh, there was an opportunity there, to, uh, to start a pilot program and eventually fund it. So the question to you guys today is, uh, would you support, in the year ahead, if you were, in, or if you were elected, um, a grant request to support bus rapid transit? And would you consider allocating city funding to continue a program like that? And why or why not? I'm going to start down here, and if I am going to make Sure. Um, I was part of a conversation in Washington, D.C. during our partnership uh, for Department of Transportation. We had a choice uh, to enter two grants or just one grant. And uh, the gentleman there said to us, um, the other grant was the Tiger Grant for our bridges. And as you all know, we want to replace Grand Avenue Bridge. We have four other bridges that we need to replace. He said he needed to prioritize. It's probably not best to, to give two applications. Um, he said, probably won't get awarded those applications. So um, I think it's a great idea to, to have the BRT. I think that there's other priorities that we need to look at to be able to take care of those. And, and that's why I came up, you know, that, that's why I voted for the Tiger Grant application and not, uh, not seeking the other application for the Department of Education. And so here I have to be sure. I would, I would definitely look at all the options, and uh, you know, we'll just have to see what our priorities are. Our priorities are going to be. We still have five other bridges that we have to replace. And I, I know that all of us, we're going to need to get across the river, all of us. So uh, I would just take a look at that. Before. And I know the BRT is a million dollars every year that we're going to have to pump into that. I would support it, but there are some qualifications that I would like to have as part of that process. Number one, I do not believe that Des Moines should be the only sponsoring agency for, uh, for rapid transit. If we're going to be serious about rapid transit throughout the county, then the whole county has to be part of the solution for that. They need to be putting money towards that. It should not become majorly just for the city of Des Moines. As we've looked at the BRT and we've been looking at the different routes, different routes a number of our inner city routes have been cut out of uh, DART as a result of trying to become more streamlined and trying to bring our people from Des Moines out to the suburbs for their jobs. It's necessary, but if you continue to take more and more out of the inner city and more and more out of the people who really need the transit, then we're not solving the problems of the city of Des Moines. And we certainly can't solve them if Des Moines is the only people who are going to be funneling the kind of money for a BRT that we need. So if we get a countywide approach or a metrowide approach, <laughs> We are speaking in the microphone and therefore speaking to the record, so we need to take a lot of things into consideration. Uh, currently, 4% of the registered voters are electing the elected officials. 96% are not voting. This is completely unacceptable. Job one is to get people back involved, and things like BRT would require lots of people saying, I like it, I love it, I support it, I ride it, I utilize it, I have faith in it, I trust it, I'm comfortable with it, I feel safe, all those kinds of things. We have uh, a consensus of people who will get this job done and a lot of other things done. Job one is to get people back involved in sports. It's a it's a great question and an important one for the community to answer. And, and as Lauren points out, we need a lot of uh, participation and input. This morning, the mayor and I joined with business leaders from around the metro area to talk about the future of the BRT. I've been involved in this from the beginning. I proudly voted to uh, have the city be the first contributor to a BRT route. And as chair of the MPO, I, I was a big champion of it. I continue to want it. But when it came time to submit the grant or not, the way we came up short is that the private sector needed to raise some money for it, and they failed to do that. Uh, and I wasn't willing to spend a whole bunch of taxpayer money. Over 10 years, this is a $40 million project. It, uh, it would probably serve about 7,000 people a month. 
and I thought that the uh, risk reward on that was not worth it because as Joe points out, we had a safety and necessity in our bridges downtown and the BRT is really cool and really nice, but it is a luxury and we have to prioritize the safety and the essentials first. Uh, we haven't got the we haven't got it back with the uh, November. Yeah, late October or November we're supposed to we're supposed to hear back. Everybody cross their fingers. I definitely think the BRT is a good idea as long as we can afford it in the community. The city believes that it's something that they want. Um, I also think well, my heart is in a light rail, and I understand that that's uh, pretty expensive. But I think that if we want to become a city of the future, we need to start thinking. I think a light rail would definitely be better for community people. Um, if you have the BRT, it's a great option, but I'm afraid that it, it won't be able to, to get people to the places quick enough. Um, things like a light rail could uh, have it going to many different places. And um, no matter what we do, I think we need to look at it and make sure that we can afford it and make sure that um, it definitely reduces the um, Carbon. I feel like it's electric enough to definitely be a good idea. Yeah, I'm transportation and, and public transportation, I think, is a really important piece, and BRT is a is a new way to look at it. Uh, I, is, is, I mean, the rest of the council uh, is set up here tonight. I think we're we're supportive. The problem is, how do we spend our dollars and where are the dollars going to come from to, to pay for it? We get a $30 million BRT app and uh, hopefully we get it funded through some mechanism. Sometimes there's other things other than Tiger Branch. You can do it through Small Starts and uh, New Starts and other uh, FTA programs with the Federal Transit Authority. Uh, however, I think that, that we have to watch public transportation per se. Uh, public transportation in Des Moines, as we look out, is is sort of in danger. Uh, you know, we, we saw salaries at the at, at uh, our DART at twelve million dollars in twelve. Uh, we saw it at uh, uh, at the Bob 